So guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at uh, dividing numbers. It's long division, one of my favorites. Um, I don't know why people just get freaked out about this. They always go, oh, long division, I hated how to do this. But it's, you know, uh, I always say this, you know, if you want to be good at long division, you got to know your times tables. And I know I keep going on about it, but trust me, you want to get better at maths, you got to learn your times tables. All right, guys. So um, as always, a disclaimer right at the start of the video. If you already know how to do long division uh, by any other method, uh, then there, or like you know how to do dividing long, big numbers by any other method, then go for it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not trying to say that this is the only way to do maths. This is just something that I learned, and I'm just wanting to share with you guys how to do this. All right, so how do we do long division? Basically, to start off, we put a 7, and of course, we put that lovely little line there. I never know what that line meant, uh, but it's just, it's always been there. So what we do is um, we're going to look at that first number. We're going to look at the number one, all right? Now, obviously, we can't really um, multiply seven by a number to get to one. Well, we can. It's one over seven, but that's just complicating it. So instead, we're going to gonna go to the next two digits here. And what we've got here is 18. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the highest multiple of seven that's uh, below 18. Now, in this case, we actually know that it's going to be two, uh, seven times two, which is 14. So what we need to do is uh, just, just chuck the two uh, on top of that eight, and we're going to put 14 because two times seven uh, is actually 14. Um, so when we do this, we're going to get uh, 18 take away 14 is actually going to equal four. And what's the next step? The next step is we have to see what's remaining. And we've got this 2 right there, which we're going to kind of bring it down here. And as you can see, you've got the number 42. And we know that uh, 7 times uh, 6 is equal to 42. And when we do this, we're going to have 42 take away 42, which is 0, which means 182 divided by 7 is actually equal to 20. So let's do that one, so no, 187, 182 divided by seven is equal to 26. Now, of course, you might decide to go, okay, I wanna split this up into 140 and 42. Not a problem, guys. If that's the way you wanna do it, you can do that as well, because you kind of see, um, you know, if, if we were to take 182, you split it up into 140 and 42, uh, then if you divide it by seven, both sides, you're gonna get 20 here, 6 there, 20 plus 6 is 26. So it's just, a, it's just another way of doing it. All right, let's have a look at another question. Uh, we've got 9, and then we've got 333. So what do we got? 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, times 4 is 36. So 36 is too big. We're looking for 27. So we're going to multiply it by 3. So we've got 33. Take away 27, that's going to equal 6. And of course, now we've got to bring that leftover 3 down. And what we've got is 63. Now, we know that 9 times 7 is equal to 63. And when we do this, we are going to get a remainder of 0. Um, so, now, yeah, I mean, 333, you could have done the same thing as what I did in example number 1. Uh, you could have taken 333 as 270 plus 63 and then divide by 9 for both sides. You're going to get 30 and 7. Total of it is 37. And finally, we look at the last question there, guys. 84104. So we've got 8 and then we've got 4104. So again, knowing your times table, 8 times 1, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. So what we've got is times 5 to get to 40. Then what we've got here is uh, 41 take away. So I'm only looking at this part right here. 41 take away 40 is 1. And in the next line, the only thing I'm going to bring down is my 0. So I've got 10 there, which means I've got to do 8 times 1, which is equal to 8. And 10 take away 8 is 2. What's remaining next? I've got my 4 that's left over at the top. I'm going to bring it all the way down. I've got 24 here. 
and I know that 8 times 3 is 24 which is equal to 0 so 24 take away 24 is 0 okay so let's just check that quickly 4104 divided by 8 yep lovely 513 so as you guys can see now you might be wondering how would I split 4104 into eights like you could go 4000 uh, and then you've got 80 um, plus 24 all right now you might wonder why did I choose uh, 4000 well because I know that 8 times 5 is 40 so I can go up to 4000 um, and then what is left over uh, what's left over is 104 and I know that 8 times 10 is 80 so I took 104 take away 80 to give me that last 24 there so yeah as you can see it's just there's just so many different ways of doing this guys find a method that works for you and then you're good to go um, again like you might be wondering like uh, you know when I have a calculator why do I need to learn this uh, if you're thinking about going into uh, anything related with engineering or anything um, anything that requires calculus uh, just the like you start dealing with algebraic terms later on with long division um, and it just how do I say it it just becomes a lot more easier if you're comfortable with long division with some of these uh, more smaller numbers cool guys that's basically it for this video as always thank you for watching